Hi, in this problem, we are going to multiply these two radicals. We've got the fourth root of a cubed b squared times the sixth root of a squared b to the fourth. And so to do this, we want to write these uh, with radicals of the same order. So we're gonna use the least common multiple of four and six, which is 12. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. We'll start uh, by writing each of these as um, uh, uh, something to a rational exponent. So this here is to the first power and this here is to the first power. So step one is going to be to write it as follows. This is a cubed b squared parentheses and then it's this number over this number so one over four. And then a squared b to the fourth so a squared b to the fourth and it's this number over this number, so one over six. And now basically we want to write these as numbers over 12. So basically we can multiply this one by three over three, and this one by two over two, right? Well, it's multiplying by one in clever ways. So we can get a 12 in the denominator here. So this is going to be parentheses a cubed b squared, 3 over 12, and then a squared b to the fourth, 2 over 12. All right, now we're going to turn these into 12th roots. So this is always going to be your index or order, same, same thing. That's going to be the root. So 12th root of a cubed b squared times 12th root of a squared b to the fourth. And now that we have 12th roots, we can just go ahead and multiply through, okay? We can actually just multiply these. So this is going to be, oh, I messed up. I forgot my three and my two. So we have to exponentiate these. So this is going to be 12th root. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, and then 12th root, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8. So now we're going to multiply through, and we just add the exponents. Now we're going to have a single 12th root, the 12th root of... But here we add 4 plus 9 is 13. 6 plus 8 is 14. And 12 can be extracted from these, so let's do that. So this is going to be the 12th root of a to the 12, b to the 12. 12th root of what's left? Well, an a because a to the one times a to the 12th is a to the 13th, and a b squared, because b squared times b to the 12th is b to the 14th. So these go away. Uh, let me just show you one more step before showing you they go away. You could technically write it like this, a b to the 12th. That's, that's what you're supposed to do if you wanted to show all the work. Right, because now these cancel. And everything here is positive, by the way. Whenever we're dealing with, um, like variables and stuff and roots, we just assume everything is positive because otherwise a lot of these rules, they won't work. And then here we have 12, or we'll have to make adjustments to make them work with absolute values, which is not fun. <laughs> so it just creates clutter. So we just assume everything is positive and we can do our wonderful math. And there we go. That's the answer. Woo, took some work there. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.